Hey guys, what's up? Alexa Gabriel back again with another video in my car. Y'all, I've been in my car for like the last like five videos. I feel like maybe like four or something like that. But this is just the best time to film for me right now. Y'all, let me update y'all on something real quick. My computer broke. Like it burnt out on me um a couple weeks ago so i am computerless right now so my mom luckily has been allowing me to use hers but i'm in the process of moving now so i won't be in their house so it's about to get a little rough because y'all know i do photography my blog all that type of stuff so i'm going to have to buy a new computer or try to get that one fixed but the one that i have is like i want to say like four or five years old so it's time for a new computer i've just been like hoarding it but yeah so hopefully i can get another computer soon so i can start doing my my regular videos and i can get to editing and all that good stuff but anyways hope you guys are all doing well hope you guys liked my last couple videos i hope these videos um bring something to you guys with me just sitting in a car just talking to y'all i feel like it's a lot more personal i like recording with my actual camera but i think just me being in a car it's just you know we're just talking we're just having conversation but today, y'all, I wanted to talk about friendship and losing friends when you change your life around or you make certain decisions to not do certain things anymore. Because my last video was about boundaries and I had a conversation with somebody recently and she was telling me how like she really wanted to change her life over but she didn't want to lose her friends and all this type of stuff. And it really inspired me because I went through the same thing where when I moved to Florida and I came back. The whole group of friends that I had, I don't talk to any of them anymore. And there's no bad blood or anything like that. But it's just, it's not my lifestyle anymore. I don't go out anymore. I don't do all that stuff. So, I don't have the same friends. And I know for a lot of us, we also have gone through the same situations. Or we're going into that season where we're afraid to deal with that. We're afraid to make certain decisions because we feel like we're going to be left alone and lonely. But I'm here to tell y'all. God will bring you new friends. I promise you. And they will be amazing. You will feel like you have known them for your whole life. Uh, me and one of my best friends, we met through me doing uh, the whole Pinky Promise thing that I did before. If you guys haven't heard of Heather Lindsay, she has a ministry. It's called Pinky Promise. And I started one in my city with one of my other best friends who I met after I moved back. And I truly gave my life over to Christ and stuff like that. And when I tell you them two are my girls, like, they're my sisters um and I didn't have them before and for me really making these decisions and I ask God like God bring me people who are genuine people who really truly care about me people who can lift me up and when I tell you if I'm going through things I can call these girls I have a few friends like that but I can call these girls and tell them we we video chat and I'm like hey y'all I'm going through this and they will pray for me and they will be there for me and be there for my family and stuff like that like I truly 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 appreciate them and there was a time where I thought that I wouldn't have that. And there was a time where I thought that I would seriously just be alone. And I'm not. I also have another friend. He's like my brother. And we've gotten close. And that's another person I can call on the spot and be like, listen, I'm going through this. Or we can have real, real, real true talks about God. I'm, I actually have quite a few friends. So I'm saying just a brother. And so I have a few friends who I can do that with. And so these are people who I have just met over the past couple years through social media, through living in the same city, through ministry, and they are like my family, like my brothers and sisters. And the people who I used to talk to before, I no longer speak with. And like I said, it's not bad blood, but it's just that when you change your life over, and this goes back to the boundaries video that I had, you have to cut certain things off because it's not going where you're going. Whether that be in relationship with friends, like I said, <coughs> oh excuse me friends um family members if they don't understand where you're going hey you might have to cut them off too certain things and you have to not be afraid to do that out of loneliness a lot of times we fear cutting people off because of loneliness and because we don't want to be alone and we feel like you know we'll fall into a deep dark hole of depression different things like that but if god is telling you to do certain things he's always going to give you more he always exceeds your expectations and that's not only in in relationships a lot of people just only use that for marriage but it's within friendships within finances all those things come together he likes to bless his children so of course he's going to bless you with good friends and people who are there for you in a great community and you have to understand that when you set these certain boundaries with your friends if they don't understand it and they no longer want to be your friend fine fine that's what you have to do that's something that you have to sacrifice and we don't want to sacrifice things because 
we're a generation who just doesn't we want things when we want them we don't want to have to sacrifice we don't want to have to work for anything we want to just make it happen make it happen the easy way we are the you know what they like to call us the microwave generation and i say it as well we are a microwave generation we want everything like this versus taking time and building certain things so we don't want to get rid of things that we are used to because now we have to work for other things but the thing is when god brings certain things into your life you don't have to work for it friendships you don't really have to work for those because they'll be so genuine and they'll flow so well that you'll be like okay why was i afraid to let this go in the first place so i'm just saying this to encourage you guys don't be afraid to let go of those people that you know that god has been calling you to let go of because you don't want to be lonely or you don't want to be without i promise y'all if he's telling you to let go of something he's going to replace it it might not be tomorrow might not be next month because maybe he needs you alone for a while and that's what happened to me it wasn't long but there was a month or two where it was just me and god and that's when he really 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 began to wreck me and just tear me up and get down into the deep dark parts that you know if i had friends constantly in my ear do you want to go do this do you want to do this let's talk on the phone let's text let's do this let's do that i wouldn't have had time to build that relationship with god so don't despise the things that he asks you to let go of because he's doing it for your own good you can't pull somebody up you can't you can't they're gonna end up pulling you down so you cannot compromise that and i know it hurts because a lot of times it's like okay these are my people i've been around them for a long time you know, I don't want to let go of them. But then again, if God is calling you to do something, it's because there's something so much greater on the other side. So I just want to encourage you guys. This is just a quick video to encourage you guys. If he is telling you to let go of something, whether it be friendships or whether even if it be a relationship, you don't want to let go of that thing because you're afraid of what's on the other side and you don't want to be lonely. If God is telling you to let go of it, I'm telling you, it's for your own good. He doesn't want to take anything away from you that just to harm you or he doesn't want to withhold anything from you if he's releasing you from something it's because he has something on the other side or he know that it is going to harm you so listen listen to the holy spirit listen to your gut listen to your heart sometimes don't listen to your heart because <laughs> you know your heart can lead you the wrong way but you know what i mean listen to your heart the heart of god within you not your heart and your emotions that says oh my gosh i love this person i have to hold on but listen to the wisdom that god gives you and pray for that wisdom just pray for peace and comfort and he will bring other people into your life if you're holding on to a relationship and you cannot let go girl boy i have been there i've been there trust me i've been there and i still deal with things and it's been years and i still deal with things and it's okay because god reveals to me every time i look back and i'm like oh no like i here i am still single still lonely god reveals to me no i have set you apart for for a certain time for a certain you know for a certain person who is going to connect with you a certain mode of a person a certain type of a person you can't just settle so don't despise the lonely times guys don't don't despise or what am I trying to say? Not even so despise, but don't resent. There you go. Don't resent the things that God tells you to let go of or the, or the people that you may lose on the way. Don't be fearful of that. Don't be fearful of being lonely and fearful of having to do things a certain way just because you don't want to be alone. Or you're afraid of what people will say. You're afraid that people will turn their back on you. If you tell people certain things, hey, I don't want to go out drinking anymore. I don't want to go out clubbing. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. There's certain things I can't do. There's certain conversations I can't have. And they can't respect that. Then you have to let them go because you know what? At the end of the day, it is you. You stand by yourself. You stand at the throne of God by yourself. Not you and Shaquita and Shaquata and Shalisha and Boom Boom Quisha and Jimmy, John, and Joseph. No, it's you. So do what you have to do for yourself, okay? I've been there before, and I got out on the other side, and the host of friends that I have now in my life, I, I wouldn't trade them for the world. I honestly wouldn't. I would not trade them for the world. They have been my rocks. God has given them wisdom for me. They are exactly what I need for my personality. And yeah, I love it. So I love you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, make sure you hit the bell button to be notified of all my other videos. Make sure you check out my other videos that I will link below in the down bar. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what are some things that you have had to let go of. Or what are some struggles with you letting go of certain things. That maybe you can help all the other sisters and brothers who watch these videos. I love you guys. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.